do you do when you have a spill? Stop and evaluate. If you ever have a spill that you're uncomfortable with, or can you clean this up? I don't think I can clean that up. That's bigger than anything that we can are prepared for. If, there, if your laboratory can't appropriately address a spill, or it's a large amount of corrosive, toxic, or flammable material, a situation that re might result in IDLH or immediately dangerous to life and health, call EHS. EHS has a spill response flowchart. The way the chart works is if you can answer the questions to get to the bottom of the page with a green box, then you may respond to the spill yourself. However, if you answer any of the questions and it takes you to the yellow box, you stop what you're doing, secure your work, and call EHS to respond to your spill. Grab your spill kit, notify everyone that there's a spill in the area. The first thing you want to do is surround your spill area. So see how I have a really large area? I'm using clay cat litter to surround my spill so it doesn't spill, spread any further. You want to make sure that your line around your spill area is pretty solid to keep it from spilling. If you have an acid spill, you can use an acid neutralizer that's provided in your spill kit. So then what you want to do is you want to remove any broken glass pieces that are in this spill. We're going to put them in our bucket. If you have broken pieces, never handle them directly with your hands. Always use a tool. So now we're going to soak up the majority of our spill area using absorbent pads from our spill kit. Let those sit. If there are smaller pieces of glass in your spill area, you can use your tools to press down on your pads to make sure that they absorb. You're gonna try to absorb as much as you can with those materials. Everything's gonna go in our waste bucket. Then I'm going to sweep from the outside in to absorb the rest of my spill area. All of your cleanup materials can go in your bucket. After you've addressed the main part of your spill area, you need to also check your vertical surfaces to see if there's spill area on there that you also need to address. So use an appropriate disinfectant or cleaner, depending on your material, and then wipe down your vertical surfaces as well. Make sure you open up cabinets. To clean materials inside. I then mop the area um, afterwards with a typical cleaner you use for your lab space. After you've used your spill kit provided by EHS, you can contact us and we can get you another one. Submit a safety concern and near miss report. Go to the EHS website, click on emergency and reporting, report a safety concern, and complete the form. You can fill it out with a location, date, time, your designation, and the concern type. So in this instance, if it was reporting for a spill, you would mark near miss, and then any other of these conditions that apply. Describe your concern, and you can always submit scans anonymously, but your identity will always be protected. So feel free to submit your name.